good morning everybody and welcome to today's literacy lesson. So I've got a really exciting lesson for you guys today that I think you're going to love. Now it's looking at something that we've done plenty of times before but I'm just going to mix it up a little bit for you just to keep things really exciting. So as you know we've done plenty of learning all about comprehension whilst being at school and you guys have been doing a wonderful job at home as well. What we're going to be thinking about today is, we're going to be thinking about comprehension again, but today, bada 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 bada, you guys become the writers and authors of the comprehension text and questions. That sounds like a lot of information, so let's break it down. So, as you guys know, here is an example of a piece of comprehension. So, when we have a comprehension, we know that it, we have a text so this can be about anything as we know. We've read so many texts. We've read about knights and castles. We've read about space. We have read about the pyramids. We've read stories that are made up stories that give us information. We've read about authors. We've read about so many different texts here. And then what we've done is we've really carefully read all of this text. Then we've gone on to answer questions. Now, these questions that we have been looking at are retrieval questions, which means that we are asked the question and we go back to the text and we scan it to retrieve the answer. Then once we find the answer, because it will be in the text, the text will tell us, we then write the answer. Now, you are very, very good at this because we have been doing this for a very long time. But today I thought, how fun, we can pull in so many skills here to make a really fun comp comprehension lesson. So we can research, we can think about facts, we're going to be doing fact writing, or if you choose to do a story, we're going to be doing story writing. Then you're going to be really thinking about how to then write retrieval questions linked to the text that you've written. And I think this is really going to help you guys when you go to answering another retrieval comprehension text because you're going to understand how these questions were written and you're going to know how to scan the text again to find the answers. So I think it's a really good task for us to do. So first things first, this is a lot of information. We are not asking you to do this. This is completely your own task. You can write as much or as little as you choose. As far as questions go, again, as much or as few as you choose. You That has 10 questions, you might only want to do four, and that's absolutely fine. All we're, mo we're most interested in, the process of you guys finding information or writing a story about something, and then linking questions to retrieve the answer from them. Okay, but don't panic, because I'm gonna model exactly how to do this for you. So, you guys are going to start with this, okay? Learn an objective, I can write text and questions about a topic I am interested in. So first things first, step number one, think about the topic you are interested in. Now, I was thinking about all of the things we could write our text about. And I decided to start by looking on Kiddle. So if you wanted non-fiction, which remember, non-fiction means it's true, it's factual, then you could use this to look up facts. So I was going to start with basically anything in the whole entire world that interests you, you can choose to write about. This can be anything. So I was having to think about things that hmm, I think I know a few things about, but I'd kind of like to learn more about. So I'm going to use this as a learning opportunity as well as researching and comprehension writing. So I'm going to start with Starfish and I'm going to search on Kiddle. And here, see, we have lots of websites with starfish facts. Now, it might not be that you get all of your information on the first website, because there's a lot of writing there. So it might be that you have to browse through a few to find all of the facts that you would like. Have a little look through, have a read through. You might want to pick one thing to write about them, or about them generally about a few different things. So that's an idea. Then what you would do is you would gather your facts and your information and you would start writing it here, okay? Once you've got all of your facts written down, you can read it through as we do. You can reread it to edit it, to check that you're writing in sentences, using your capital letters and full stops, 
all of those lovely things. So read through this. It might be that that doesn't really interest you and you want to look at something else. So what about PJ masks? I know lots of you love PJ masks. So it might be that you go on here and you might choose a hero, Catboy, and you might already know some facts about him that you can write, but then you might find some other facts about him that you want to add. That's a really good one. Uh, it might be to link with our topic. Some of you have been interested in the Great Fire of London. So you can go on this CBBC News round and that will give you information. It might be that you want to choose one area here. So it might just be that you only want to write about how the fire started and just use this information to use in your text. That's up to you. And I know that when we were looking at Google Earth before, lots of you were really interested in looking at the pyramids on Google Earth, but that's another one that you could choose. Now, another resource that you now have that you can use is MyOn. So if you go onto MyOn and you go onto the library, you can search through all of the books for information. Oh, look, so animals. It might be that you want to do about dinosaurs. So you might want to scan through here and pick a book that looks interesting to you where you want to learn all about that dinosaur and you could do that text about the dinosaurs if you wanted it might be oh under the sea oh sharks shocking sharks oh fish the ocean lots of interesting books there it might be that you want to look at sports Ooh, fly fishing. You might want to do a whole comprehension text on fly fishing. I tell you what, we're going to learn lots about it. Or spaniels. Lots of exciting things. Um, another thought is, you may have a book at home that you would like to use, and that's absolutely fine. And more than that, you might actually have a lot of knowledge and information about one thing in particular. It could be all about you. You could write an information text all about yourself. So, my name is Miss Shannon. I work at St Monica's in Neath Hill. I have been a teacher for seven years. My favourite subject to teach is literacy as well as art. I also am a fan of teaching history. We love history, don't we? Mm. At school, I work with Miss Foster to plan lovely lessons. Um, my break time duty is on a Tuesday with Mrs. McGonagall. I, um, what other information could I, oh, I teach the wonderful year two. So that could be an information text. That's all about me, for example, if that's what you wanted to do. This is where you'll also write, if you're choosing facts, you will write facts of information. You might want to write about information that you found from your book you might actually want to write a story so you could just make up a story and you could write that there and then ask questions about it so then here underneath you're going to write your questions so number one what what is the name of the school miss shannon works at there they would have to go through the text to find our ah, st monica's so that would be the answer two how long has Miss Shannon been a teacher for? I've been a teacher for seven years. So the answer would be seven years. Now, what you need to be careful when you're writing these questions is to make sure that you only add information that is in the text, because it might be that you're an expert in the facts that you're sharing, but it might be that you forget that and you haven't added the information. So it could be three, what is Miss Shannon's favourite colour? 
Now, if you wrote that, now I am Miss Shannon, so I know my favourite colour. I know actually lots of you know my favourite colour. But if I'm reading through here, nowhere does it say about my favourite colour. So I'm not going to be able to retrieve that answer. So that's not going to work, okay? So I need to make sure that all of the questions I'm asking are about the text. So what adjective does Miss Shannon use to describe the lessons that she plans with Miss Foster. So what adjective, what is an adjective guys? Remind yourself, it is a describing word, well done. What adjective does Miss Shannon use to describe the lessons she plans with Miss Foster? Let's look through. At school I work with Miss Foster to plan lovely lessons. So the answer is lovely. Okay, so that is just a quick example of what we would like you guys to do today. Get as creative as you like, write as much as you like. Really use this as some fun time to learn about something new if you want, learn more facts about something you're really interested in, and just see how comprehension is working for retrieval from the other side. I really hope you enjoy, guys.